at you guys. With a beer review. Yeah. We've got a beer review from who? Chris Clements. That's right. My brother. <laughs> my uncle. That's right. And so, you know, we did a bunch of beer reviews with him this summer, which was fantastic. Yeah. And uh, But we've had one that's been sitting and waiting to be reviewed. Here it is. It is the Mexican Lager. That's right. Cut in the tree. We're from the Northwest. Lager's appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> it's a sauce. Uh, sauce hops. Get it? Sauce. Sauce. Sauce hops. That's right. So anyway, thanks Chris. Cheers, brother. Yeah. And uh, we're going to get this one cracked open. Heck yeah. Oh, we you needed did. more. It didn't fizz <laughs> up that much, actually. It's actually, it's not a Pilsner glass. This is more of a Hefeweizen glass. Yeah. But you oh, can well. see the bubbles rising up out of there. Rising nice. Yeah. That's uh, And from our side, instead of yours, this is really looking out. This is a very yellow gold color, isn't it? Yeah. Looks like a cup of piss. Yeah. Yeah, about right. And it's just this nice creamy yeah. white head, low white yeah. head. So let's get Yeah, there wasn't very much head at all, and that no, was heavy no. pour. Smells like a lager. Yeah, yeah, it does. Nice classic, actually, nice some nice pilsner and graininess on the mm -hmm. nose to me. And you it's get those sauce hops. Yeah, you get the sauce hops. You get a little bit of the bitterness, a little bit of the sweetness. Um, the nice thing is, is this one, you uh, usually you get a little bit of skunkiness on some lagers. They put them in brown bottles, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, so it's, it smells good. You know, you know what I like now. I, I full disclosure, I'm not a Mexican lager guy, right? <laughs> no, me neither. And, and oh, I thought you liked them. I only drink Corona once in a while. Uh, but this does not smell like a normal Mexican lager. Like Christian said, there's some nice sweetness mm -hmm. on it. There's some nice it's graininess very on it. Clean smelling. Yeah, you know? it is. It smells like it's gonna be clean, mostly crisp. I, I, just smells good. I think we're gonna have to try it. Yeah. Now. Cheers. Man, this is this is more like a European lager mm -hmm. to me. You know, this to me is not like a Mexican lager. It, if the style is Mexican lager, it's a fail. But in terms of beer, I think this is nice. I like this. Oh, I think it's more towards a Mexican lager. <laughs> I mean, Mexican lagers for the most part. Don't have very much flavor to it. It's very bland, and uh, I mean, and it's got some skunkiness to it. You know, that's that's what they they're based off of, right? See, this I, one I don't get that. This one's very smooth. A little bit of uh, you know, like you get a little bit of the grains in there, but I mean, it's for the most part, I think it's pretty spot on Mexican and tasty. Well. Oh, hey, I was just in Philly recently. Yeah, I just came back from the Homebrew Wednesday homecoming. But I don't get Mexican for me. Uh, for me, this really comes off. Those sauce hops are very nice. And when I think of, like, Mexican, like, you know, the Coronas, etc., I don't feel that I ever get the flavor of the, uh, the hops in there, really, at all. And this, I get the hoppy flavor. Plus, I think there's a sweetness on it, thus the more, like, graininess, like a... A mash grain like like when we eat the mash after most of the sugars are gone and that kind of reminds me of that let's be honest we eat some of the mash before we've gotten all the sugars out <laughs> we do I mean it's as a brewer you should every yeah time. oh yeah <laughs> obviously and it cleans you out it's a good stuff snack on your own uh, <laughs> brewing you know so, yeah, if it's a chocolate one, we'll take it and, and oh, add yeah. some maple syrup and just eat eat the grains. It's fantastic. All right, so back to the brew. All right. Well, actually, let's take a minute, and why don't we then decide what kind of scores we want to give this. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there's people dying right now in laughter. <laughs> there hasn't been a text since. <laughs> uh, well, I have fun, but we're both going at it, then it's just double the fun. Uh, <laughs> alright, alright, so, you're ready to rock on this? Yeah. Alright, we're having some fun over here. You know what? It's time to come up with some numbers, and first, he's going to lead. By the way, I did have this. I had one bottle of this before, and I, I liked it then. 
What do you think in terms of a Mexican lager? Well, for Mexican lager, I mean, the big one with me, I mean, I don't know how big of a category you can have at it, but, uh, like, with European, it's very uh, mild um, hops, and this one has, you can tell its size, it has a little bit of bitterness, a little bit of bite, but the big thing is, is there's no skunk, and, like, these Mexican beers think that, like, skunk needs to happen, but it's not. Like, it's smooth, you get a little bit of sweetness, you don't get too much of the grain in there, it's pretty bland, but... It's a great, like, 100-degree uh, day, like, summer beer, and I, I think it's excellent. So what kind of number you want to give it? Uh, I'd give it, like, a, for Mexican lager, probably, like, a 96. Yeah. I, I think it's good. Yeah, see, the way he described it, I thought he was going lower, because for me, I love this. I'm, But again, I'm not a huge Mexican lager fan. I'm not saying I haven't had them. I've had them many times down in Mexico. We both have. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... Uh, yeah, you're right. I think there you don't get that skunkiness. They are in brown bottles. They're not in the white, you know, clear bottles. And and it's a little more play on sweetness, though. The the sauce hops are much more than what you get in a normal Mexican lager. I dig on that because I, I, you know, he's turned me into a bit of a hop head. It's, yeah, that's your fault. And um, so... <laughs> But, um, yeah, I'm digging on that. But there's just a nice sweetness. It's yeah. not exactly European one because they're much more clean taste yeah. than this. I wouldn't say bland, but clean. Uh, they have a wonderful taste. But this is a little sweeter, a little hoppier. I'm digging on it, too. I think from Mexican lager, uh, it's the, it'd be the best Mexican lager I've ever had. I'm going to go with that 97. Woo! Overall, though... For beer. For beer in, in, in general. Okay, so now, now where do you go? <laughs> Here we go. I'm not a lager guy. I do IPAs. I do heavy beers. Uh, this is like a 72. Like, it's a good, clean beer. I'll drink it. Uh, if I want a lager, i gladly pick this up again. No, but no. <laughs> Yeah, and, and eh, you know, I mean, there are some amazing beers businesses that make, you know, breweries that make loggers out there now. I mean, you got your Jack's Abbey. I mean, what killer loggers they make. That's some such good stuff. Um, but this is a Mexican lager we're doing here. And I won't go get those Mexican lager kits. Just not my thing. But this I'm, I'm actually very much enjoying. I'm, I'm still going to put it up in that C plus category. This is 78. I like this one a lot. So here it is. It's the... Mexican lager. I want you to take a note. Yeah, I mean, he's asleep on the job. He's supposed to be sawzing right there. Yeah. Anyway, here it is. It's from Ska Brewing out of Durango, Colorado. A fantastic place to go visit, I should say. Mm -hmm. This is Kevin. This is Christian. From Clement's Home Brew. And we're just saying life is too short to drink cheap beer. And we'll see you on the next beer review. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, maybe he's building the, the fence. So, so here's it again. Another Mexican sleeping on the job. <laughs> Can I say that? 